Okay, this should be the last part of this first tutorial uh, on the network generation and manipulation. We are, for now, we have just seen how to create a network and we have had features to add links, remove links. Um, we can very quickly make the same for node. So, um, let's say I will put that uh, here. Um, so I will put everything that is uh, related, uh, I will keep them together. So select one node is related to create single link because uh, they work together, but this should be put like this. And here I will add a button uh, that will remove um, one node at random. One node. Okay, so uh, in the code I have to make a function that will remove one of the nodes. It is very simple. So to remove one node, and I will just ask one of the turtles to die. Um, okay, so this is. Uh, probably one of the simplest functions that uh, you have uh, written. Uh, there is a problem. Yes, I didn't write remove one node correctly. Remove one node. Okay, so let's say I start with uh, eight node. Okay, if I remove one node, okay. The number of nodes is decreased by one. Okay. So uh, we could do exactly the same uh, as we have done for the number of links to remove. We could add a slider that uh, allows us to, to tell how many nodes you want to remove at the same time. I let you do that in, uh, as an exercise. This is very much uh, the same uh, procedure that for uh, uh, NB links to remove. Um, so there is no difficulty at all. Uh, we will add two features to make the plot, uh, the network, the, the visualization of the network better. The first one is uh, a layout to 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 see the, the network in a in a better uh, in a in better conditions. So, um, but because. Um, Right now it's a little bit confused, so we'll add a layout function. Uh, layout is uh, provided by a NetLogo. You don't have to code the layout procedure to place the node on the world. Um, so uh, we have uh, to find for to find layout. Okay, there is a layout circle. Uh, we could try layout circle, for example. So another button called uh, do layout for example okay same same again we create uh, a function here that say uh, so how can we use that it's layout circles the edge and set and the radius of the uh, the circle so um, layout circle circle uh, for the turtles for the nodes with the radius of 10 okay okay uh, do layout all right so this is not very visible since the nodes are too <coughs> are too big and there is too many nodes to 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 be to make a, a clear circle, but if I decrease the number, yeah, the layout is uh, pretty uh, pretty better. Uh, create some links. Okay, observe the distribution. Um, okay, so uh, this is uh, good for a beginning, but uh, the number of uh, of uh, node can be very more, uh, very much more than than the number of uh, 
of, uh, of these nodes. So um, the layout circle is not the best uh, circle. We have to find another better uh, layout. And if you remember, the force directed uh, layouts functions were uh, useful because they uh, give a good representation of the mass repartition of the nodes inside the networks. So we will use um, a layout spring, which is uh, uh, the classic way of, uh, of making a layout. As you can see in the documentation, the layout algorithm is based on the Frusch Torman Reingold that you already know from Tulip. So, uh, this is the example of code. We will just copy that and replace the code here by this one. Okay, so layout takes um, as a first argument a total set, totals, a link set, links, a spring constant that is the resistance of your spring, the a spring length, and a repulsion constant. So I won't uh, I won't modify the parameters uh, by default. Let's see what it uh, what it produces uh, when we have a small network of uh, 18 nodes and 40 links. Okay, so it's not bad, but it's very uh, boring to click on the um, on the button to make one iteration of the layout algorithm. So uh, we will use the feature of uh, forever checkbox. Forever just uh, calls the function at every uh, at every. Uh, Forever, yeah, at every tick, but uh, yes. Okay, so when we do that, it's uh, it's more uh, it's more uh, easy to see the layout. Okay, so I will increase the number of nodes and the number of links. Okay, I create some links. Okay, so this is a mess. And what will the layout do? It's very quick. We are lucky. Okay. Okay. So now you see every iteration of the layout function that is uh, impacted by the strength of the links between the nodes, and you can see what happens if you remove one node. It will per make it a perturbation of uh, of the layout uh, algorithm. Uh, same if you remove some links. The, the springs are uh, less numerous, so the strength inside the network is uh, decreased also. And you can see, uh, you can play with uh, with that uh, to see what happens uh, when you add some links uh, for the layout. So let's say, for example, I select one node and I make a lot of links with it, and I do the layout. And Progressively, as I add some links, the node becomes more central because it is uh, more strongly linked to, with uh, the other. Okay, so layout is cool. Um, one last uh, useful uh, visualization should be to adapt the size of the nodes according to the degrees. So uh, it's already eight minutes, so I will do that in the final, final video. Thank you.